back in June, uh, my wife and I booked a family holiday for five of us to the Dominican Republic through a very, very large company. Um, at the time, we pho- the phone booking, we were told by the person that we booked with that it included uh, luggage up to 23 kilos per person, which was ample for a long haul holiday. We, t- we could not check our all the paperwork says baggage 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 but it doesn't state exactly what baggage and we weren't able to ascertain any uh, anything about our booking until we could book, actually check in 24 hours before our flight okay, so Stephen Look, only because we're coming to a break I need to get you yes. to the point please so we um, wait a we turned up we found that there was no baggage involved uh, only hand luggage uh, for a very long haul flight. Um, and um, we got stung for eighteen hundred pounds. There was no customer services. Eighteen hundred. How many bags did you have? F- five suitcases there and back. Five suitcases of twenty-three kilos. Yeah. So eighteen hundred pounds divide. That's one hundred and eighty pounds a suitcase each way. Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Um. So did your? I'm assuming your we- confirmation of the flight didn't mention luggage or didn't mention the weight. No, no. Ouch. And we weren't able to do that until 24 hours before the flight. We tried contacting this company. Nothing happened. And um, Have you tried we, recreating your booking? So going on and we, getting a screenshot of what comes up about luggage? It, it doesn't come up with 23. We've, we, it's, you do everything through the app of this company and uh, even raising your, your complaint. And they're not investigating it properly. They keep stating that they emailed us but they actually emailed us when we were at the airport after we had re- raised our concerns. With OK, them. so we here's, here's, the, here's the legal position, Stephen. Um, it, it, it's regrettable, and I, I believe you, of course I believe you, but it's regrettable that there is not a jot of written evidence, unless I'm misunderstanding you, to confirm that your flight included five times 23 kilos of luggage. Um, mm. Because certainly whenever I've booked with many airlines, uh, I get a... I, uh, not only do I screenshot everything, but that's because I'm slightly anal, but I get an immediate email confirmation uh, that sets out the luggage um, allowances. And when you go to check in and when you manage my booking, you can see the luggage it, allowances. It, does, it doesn't It does say how much. It does say luggage and baggage. It does say on our transfer documents, but it doesn't state exactly the, the weight of the baggage. So what's the, the what the airline said was the weight you were allowed? They just say cold oh. luggage, uh, um, cabin luggage. Oh, well, it's a, a few kilos. It's a small bag. In the cabin or in cost. hold? In the cabin. Which is not the same as, as luggage, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, OK, so here's what I'd do. Um, I would issue, first of all, I'd report them to the Civil Aviation Authority. You won't get very far, but it will give you a little bit of satisfaction. Um, the other thing I'd do is bring a claim in the small claim court for return of your £1,800. Um, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if it was worth our while doing that. 100% yes. Now, you're going to have to persuade a judge that you did actually uh, book something with the 23 kilos times five um, without well, anything in writing about that. That might not be easier. It judge- was a very long flight, and it would be ludicrous for five family members to travel with a hand luggage. All no, the no, way no. I'm, I'm, I'm not suggesting you aimed, uh, no, no, I'm, aimed I'm, to travel with that luggage, but sometimes people get booking details wrong. It's not unheard of. Yeah. So maybe you no, hit well, skip. I know you say you didn't, but that might be what a judge thinks. That's the only hesitation that I offer, but it's definitely worth um, bringing a claim. And I suspect the airline probably, if this is a real problem, it's going to have happened with more people than just you. There, there were it, other people at the airport on the return which were had the same situation. Great. Get evidence a, of that. Google it. Get uh, other people complaining about it online. Um, there, there will probably be a Facebook page set up for this problem if it's a well-known problem with the airline. And if you show mm. that to the, to the judge, they'll find in your favour.